Today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve an A or an A star in A-level maths in one month. Question is, who am I? Me, I got three A stars last year, so 2023, and um, my god, were the grey boundaries from maths disgusting. I am sorry, but how is it that a normal A star, like, you know, Mark, used to be 217? out of 300 and then in my exams became 244 hello what a 27 marks increase and then for an a it was like i say 164 marks and then it became 196 that's a 32 mark increase i don't know what ed excel was thinking but it was baffling i personally did not check the the grey boundaries on results day before I got my results but I know loads of people who did and when they saw it they were like game over because this is unreal I know so many people who should have gotten A stars even A's but then they got let's say they should have got an A star but they, they got an A or they should have gotten an A but they got like a B or a C it was insane genuinely insane and the papers are so hard compared to like relative to the other uh, years like past years so yeah excel's on a mad one at the moment so we need to really push through at this time with one month left okay this is not to scare you this is to warn you anywho my aim for this video is to basically give you the step-by-step -step guide on um what to do in this month at the end of the day right we want to use the methods and use the act revision activities that will give us the most marks possible or the, you know the most increase in our um, marks until the exams actually start so this is where i step in i will tell you what the methods and what you should do so that you can get the most marks let me give you a disclaimer beforehand this video can be used by anyone doing any exam board for a level maths I did at Excel and I'm pretty sure most of the population kind of do at Excel. I might be over generalizing here, but um there are, you know, a few things that are specific to Excel, but it can be applied to anyone really, it's quite general. So let us begin. Let's have a talk. Me and you. You need to realise something. Maths questions are testing the same skills every single year. Let me just tell you a little story. I was speaking to um, a friend who's doing their exams this year and they told me I don't understand mechanics. I hate it. I don't even want to think about it. And I was like, oh, why? They're like, I can't get the marks. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I just told them, you do realise, let's say in moments or in ladder questions or inclined planes, fundamentally those questions are based on the same type of skill. As in, you need to resolve up or down, you need to resolve vertically, you need to resolve horizontally, you need to uh, take moments. They're all the same skills, but just in different questions. So what really is the problem? It's the fact that you don't know the skills, if you're thinking like that. And so by knowing that it is the same skills being tested every year, the real, real like simple method is to know how to do questions, do the exam questions, and then you're pretty much sorted. I know that's quite black and white, but allow me to explain. You need to live, breathe, and sleep, okay? Exam questions from this point on. Maths is not the sort of thing that you would make notes for. You learn through questions, so you need to do so many, okay? <laughs> so many. <laughs> if somebody asks you what's your name, you just say maths. That's how I want you to be. <laughs> um, let's start with the steps, though. Step one, make sure all your content is tip top. Step two, pass papers. Step three, identify when and where you make silly mistakes. Okay, let's start. Make sure all your content is tip top. As I said, you don't make notes for maths. You just, let's say, watch a video or you realize how to do a question and that's you sorted. So here are some YouTube channels I recommend. Of course, there are so many out there. I just put three that I just use personally. Zishan, ah, oh, this guy, this guy is, he's actually really funny in his videos. 
So I really like him. But also, let's say you forgot how to do integration by parts. Well, just write integration by parts. Then write, you know, the channel's name. And just watch that video. Shouldn't even take more than 10 minutes, really. And now you literally know how to do that method of integration by parts. And you can tackle, let's say, a 10 marker or 6 marker or 5 marker on it. Easy marks. So you just need to target what you don't know. A supplement it with videos and then do the questions. Mr. Asbury, he's done predicted papers. Uh, remember with predictions, they are not going to be 100% correct. Nobody knows what the exams, uh, exam papers are going to be like. Only the examiners know whoever was involved in making them. And so um, just take predictions with a grain of salt. Don't think that, okay, this person that I really respect and rate told me these things or these topics are going to come up. Yeah, you can respect the predictions, but don't s replace it for doing questions on all the topics across three papers, okay? So, yeah, we have Zisha, we have Bison Maths, and we have Mr. Asprey. They're very, very good channels. So, yeah, you two. Okay. Oh, yeah, YouTube is going to be your best friend, okay? It's so easy. Search up what you want, and you'll learn it in a couple of minutes, and then you can go about your day. <laughs> um... Okay, one other thing I wanted to say is don't skip topics, as in, yeah, you know, I did this topic, let's say, a few weeks ago in my last week of, like, a year 13, I'll be fine. Or you might be like, oh, you know, I just cannot stand, you know, A2 differentiation. Let me just, like, not do it and hope that it doesn't come up. No, do not think like that. What is happening? I know many people think like that. That's why I'm telling you this. Um... Don't run away from your problems, face them. Because you'd rather face them now in normal conditions at home or library, or whatever, you know, you are studying, opposed to, you know, you doing your actual paper. So face any problems or any questions or any concerns that you have about certain topics, certain methods, right now, in this one month. For some people's mechanics, everyone has a vendetta against it, personally. I loved it because it was the same skill has been tested every time. <laughs> um, step two, past papers. It's no surprise, is it? So just complete your past papers. Uh, if you haven't started them already, what are you doing? After this video, start one ASAP. Okay. There's many things I need to talk to you about this one. If you haven't finished them, finish all the past papers. If you have finished them, redo them. As you've seen at the start of this video, the grey boundaries are harsh. They are insane, okay? A star used to be about 72%, I might be mistaken, and then it became 83%. Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, as you can tell, accuracy is very important. You need to make sure you can get as many marks as you can. There's nothing worse than being able to do, let's say, mm, normal distribution, your whole like year 13 career and then you can't do it in the exam because you've made a silly mistake or you re like misread something so it's just a horrible feeling so complete or redo the past papers the most accuracy you possibly possibly can okay so that you can get into the muscle memory of um approaching questions in the right way so that you can get the most marks i literally remember <laughs> Paper one, okay. Paper one. Uh, last year, the first question was a, I think it was a three mark on integration. Tell me how I wrote the numbers wrong. So whenever you know they they give me a question, I like to rewrite uh, like the maths part of it, and I I wrote it wrong. <laughs> what? My first question, I wrote it wrong. That was a silly error. What if I didn't realize that I wrote it wrong? These things happen, okay? Because when you're in the exam, the conditions are different. There's more at stake than, let's say, when you're at home doing it in exam conditions, right? So that's why I'm telling you, you need to get into the habit of accuracy so that you do not make silly mistakes. It is so easy to make silly mistakes, guys. It's crazy. But that's the next step, which I'll talk about in a bit. Okay. If you're aiming for that A star, let me put you on something. If you search up Edexcel International A Level Papers, okay, essentially use them for pure. You can use them for stats and mechanics, but 
their pure questions are really really good especially if you're struggling with functions um i mean who doesn't struggle with functions but you know use that because the international a-level papers for edX are um, harder than the uk version and then the other thing other example you can use is ocr mei um and use them for stats and mechanics because they are harder and um you want to prepare for the worst yeah so always try and do your exam papers for maths in full exam conditions and then a few paper few, yeah a few papers you know do them in conditions that are best suited but um make sure you're doing it with a friend it might be online it might be in person in the library just do the paper set the timer and then once you're done um mark it with your friend so that let's say they had a question right and you didn't they can teach you whenever somebody tells us something or they teach us something um it's more likely to stick in, into our heads and that's what we want right this is high yield methods we need to implement it so that's step two step three is identify when and where you make silly mistakes so this scenario one is actually something I did in um in my mock in year thirteen. There was a whole five marker question on partial fractions, and uh, you know I I love me a bit of partial fraction questions, but I looked at my answer and I thought, what is going on? This isn't this surely cannot be correct, and I was so confused. I was like, well I know how to do it. But why is the answer so weird? well um i might have accidentally put a negative instead of a positive when i was rewriting the question <laughs> these things happen to the best of us you know so we really need to see where we make silly mistakes like i knew that when i was rewriting questions <laughs> i i might be so <laughs> changing some numbers where i might be like changing signs which is really bad of me but you just you know sometimes you you want to rush but you need to get into accuracy and then you can rush if you want so if you're in scenario A and you're like, my answer looks weird, these are the things I would check first. Check if you've copied down the question right or you've uh, you know, misread the question. Number two, check whether your positive and negative signs are correct. And three, check your method. However, I mean, this is a personal take I have. If you realise that, oh, in step three that I did in this partial fractions um, question, I put a positive instead of a negative, don't go and uh, re- like, how do I say it, kind of write over the uh, workings out that you've already done, don't do it, just cross it out, do it on another page, because that actually leads to more mistakes than you think, so I would always recommend if you see there's a mistake, redo it ASAP, um, yeah, but the question is, what if you're in scenario B? where you've done some past papers and realised that your silly errors are actually from certain topics. So, if, you know, these are some normal ones that people might make silly mistakes on, which is integration, differentiation, partial fractions, normal distribution and ladder questions. So what do you do in this case? Well, just isolate those topics and continuously do exam questions on them until you don't make those same errors or mistakes again. Um, you might be thinking, well, you know, I've done all the questions possible. You haven't done all the questions possible. There's so many more left for you to do. These are just a few resources that you can use. So PMT, duh, of course. Um, My Maths Cloud, if you don't know that one, it's that's actually the website you should most likely use for to find the international papers. I don't know. I like the layout of the website. It's really good. Mr. Madoni, Mr. Madoni. I've not heard anybody talk about this guy. Um, it's it's a it's something you need to search on Google and his website. And his uh, his questions are really good, you know? They're really, really good. Some of them are from past papers and the rest are, I don't know where he got he got them from, but yeah, he has PDFs on uh, topics, so use them. And we have HGS Maths, which is, I think, a school. And um, the maths department made this whole website for the school, but anybody can use it. And they've got like a bunch of resources for you to use. Um, if you want year 12 topics or year 13 topics so that's really good but as i've already said you know maths is all about know the method have done like loads of exam questions on it know the variations of the questions and you're sorted and don't make any mistakes guys please please i know it's hard i know 
as you can already tell, I, I did many. But um, when you know where you make them, you're more likely to not make them again. Because I remember in my head, when I was doing... Um, what topic was it in the exam? I've forgotten. But there was a certain topic. Before I started it, I was like, please don't make silly mistakes. Literally talking to myself. <laughs> um, and I didn't. It was fine. So it works out in the end. So those are the three steps for maths. However, there's a last message that I want to tell you guys. Your mindset. Okay, this is the same for... Um, the chemistry video, chemistry guide that I made. But the thing is with chemistry and maths is quite similar. You know it, then you use the knowledge you have. With the exam questions, you get marks. So, so these quotes helped me. For example, you know all of this, keep repeating that to yourself, especially when the questions get hard. I remember it was paper two. Um, yeah, it was paper two last year, so 2023, where it was extremely difficult. It was, it was just weird. It was a weird paper. They had merged so many topics into one that I just never really seen in that way before. Um, so when you get hard questions, you might be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? This is really bad. You're thinking I'm the only one in the whole country that cannot do this. You're not the only one, okay? But just remember that you do know how to do all of this. You didn't come this far just to come this far. You know, as they say, never back down, never what, right? Just don't back down. If you don't know it, and you've you know spent, like, let's say a few minutes on the question, star it, move on to the next one, and come back to the end. Sorry, come back at the end, um, and work on it. Because this is your paper, you own it, so act like you own it, okay? When you write your name, your candidate number, this is yours. The paper's yours. So if you want to write annotations, if you want to... Um, you know, write whatever you want around the question. Go ahead. If that's going to help you, do that. If you feel like um, you need to do X, Y, and Z um, for a certain question, do it. Like, what I'm trying to say is don't act like a victim. This is your paper. So have ownership over it. And, yeah, as I always say, you know, don't make silly mistakes, please. Um, the most important thing really is speed and accuracy for maths. And lastly, <laughs> imagine you're an actor or an actress and you're stepping into your movie p- premiere. Act like you are on the red carpet, you know? When you step into the example in the sports hall, act like it's your red carpet and you're walking to success. You're walking into just amazing, amazing vibes and energy. You need to think think very positively because if you act like a victim and have that mentality it's just not going to play out for you and if it's hard to think positively it might be for some people force it <laughs> fake it till you make it as they say <laughs> um so i hope these steps really work um work out for you these really did work for me as i shown you you know at the start i did get an a star so i know they work um so please let them work for you <laughs> And, um, yeah, best of luck. I know you guys can do it. Just power through. I know, I know it's a bit tedious. I know you guys are stressed. I know you guys are tired, sleep deprived. We all are. We all were. It's that last push, okay? That last push. And then everything will be fine. You can, you know, enjoy your lovely summer. Oh, that summer of year 13 is amazing, guys. I'm telling you, it's really good. It's really, really good. So, yeah. You know, use the comment section to write um, any questions you have, um, anything you want your device on, um, any clarifications, really. And, yeah, good luck. And I shall see you in the next video.